Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from Teclone.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade iOS 15 beta back to iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7 depending on when you're watching this video. So let's have a look. Okay, so I've been making this type of videos for more than five years now and the number one question I always get is whether this method is going to delete all of my data on my iPhone. And the short answer for this question is yes, all of the data will be removed because this is the only way to downgrade from one iOS to another. And this video is no different than installing iOS 14.6 or 14.7 on your iPhone from scratch. And one more thing I would like to mention is that I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to back up your iPhone right now if you have it done before updating to iOS 15 beta. So to back up your iPhone right now, all you have to do is to go to iTunes and go to this little square right here, assuming that you have co already connected your iPhone to your computer. And this is where you're gonna see all the information regarding your iPhone. And to back up your iPhone, all you have to do is to make sure that this computer is checked. Make sure, so just click on it to check it. And then click on backup now. So this is gonna backup everything that you have on your iPhone, including apps, photos, videos, messages, and data that you have created on your app. So this includes game progresses. And then this is gonna take some time to backup, but that's okay. Make sure to grab some coffee, relax uh, until the backup is done. And now you're probably going to wonder, and you're probably going to ask me whether I'll be able to restore the iOS 15 backup to iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7. The answer is maybe. Sometimes iTunes doesn't, doesn't let you do that because there are some compatibility issues. But I had some luck in the past, but it doesn't hurt to try it. Okay, so that being said, we can go ahead and get started. The first thing you have to do is to download the iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7, depending which one is available for you, firmware, which we're going to be using to restore our iPhone with. And this can be done by going to the IPSW.me website. And because you have an iPhone, you can choose iPhone here. From here, you need to choose which iPhone you have. In my case, I have an iPhone XR, so I'm just going to select this. But say you have another iPhone, say an iPhone XS Max, then, as you can see, you have two versions, iPhone XS Max China and iPhone XS Max. Which one you should choose? It's very obvious. If you have bought your iPhone from China, then that's the iPhone that you should choose. But if you haven't bought it from China, then that's the one that you have to select. If you have an, an older iPhone, say an iPhone 10, then if your iPhone is unlocked, make sure to choose global. But if it's not unlocked, then it's, if it's, for example, American, it only accepts American SIM cards, and that's the one that you should select. We're going to go with iPhone XR, that's the only one I have. And for me, at the time of recording this video, that's the only iOS version which is available for me. As you can see, all of those which are unsigned, meaning that they, no, they are no longer signed by Apple, so if you try to downgrade uh, by using those, then iTunes simply is not going to let you do this. So, be sure to, to, to select this, make sure it's green, choose that. And from here, you need to press on download. And if it doesn't work, as you can see, if it doesn't work for me, just press on copy link, a new tab, copy paste, and enter, and boom, it's going to start begin downloading. Because I've already done it, I'm just going to click on cancel. And depending on your internet network, it's going to take some time to download. The next step is to locate where the framework has been downloaded. One thing to do is to go to your hard drive, go to downloads, it should be the very last download that you have done. Once you have it, just make sure to put to, to have this window over here. Go ahead and open iTunes again. And from here, you need to go on where it says restore iPhone and hold the option key from your keyboard and press on restore iPhone. For Windows, it's going to be holding down Shift key and then press on Restore iPhone. And now iTunes is asking you which firmware would you like to downgrade with. And the answer is very simple. That's why you have the window here. So you can go ahead and drag it, drop it here, and then press on Open. 
is going to give you a final warning that iTunes says erase and restore your iPhone. Just keep in mind, erase and restore. That means all of the data will be deleted from your iPhone. So that's why this is the last chance for you to do a backup if you haven't done so. And if you haven't done a backup, then press on cancel and then press backup now here to proceed with your backup. Once you're satisfied, press on restore. And then iTunes will begin restoring your device. And right now, as you can see, iTunes is extracting the firmware that you have just downloaded from ipsw.me. Once iTunes is going to do this, then iTunes is going to ask you whether you indeed want to restore your device with iOS 14.6. Make sure to select Restore, and then you're going to have to let iTunes do the rest of the job. And this really depends on your computer on how fast it's going to do it. And once you have done it, then, then you should see iOS 14.6 right here or iOS 14.7 and this is where you need to go ahead and restore your backup that we have done before. So to do this, go to restore backup and from here select the last backup that we have done. If you have done a backup from iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7, this is what you need to select and you can go to the drop down and select or if it's the last backup, then this is what I just going to recommend you to do. Once you have selected, then press on restore, and then your iPhone will be restored with your previous backup. And that's everything that you have to do to downgrade iOS 15 beta to iOS 14.6 or iOS 14.7. And if you have any questions, don't forget to let me down in the comments so I'll be able to answer them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive updates for every video that we upload. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.